fifth verse of the sixth chapter. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Listen to this. And Jesus never called the common man a hypocrite. Just the leadership. Just the leadership that describes the Pharisees and, and, and the Sadducees and, and the lawyers. Those, those in leadership, he called them hypocrites on a regular basis. And I think this is who he's talking about even right here. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street. They may be seen of men. Now, It's one thing to be praying in church, but to be praying on the corner, on the street corner, if you're not doing street ministry and praying for people to be saved or delivered, then why are you praying other than to be seen? Hello? And, and, and you got your collar on, you got your robe on out in the streets so people can know that you are a preacher. And, 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 and a lot of times when, when, when all you're doing is promoting self, then, then, then you, you can best believe there's some hypocrisy going on somewhere. Hmm? We have to be careful, even in the church, how fast we put people up to pray. Amen. Because, you know, some people have never did anything publicly. They've never spoken publicly at all. And then all of a sudden, all the eyes in the church are on that person. We've put them up too early. Most of the time without any preparation, without any training, and we put them up to, to start doing things. And the next thing you know, we're trying to figure out what happened to these people. Why are they acting like this? Because everybody can't take being up in front of people. Everybody's mindset is not there. And the only place some people ever get an opportunity to stand and speak before people is in the church. That's just that's just the way it is. But we as we as leaders have to also be careful how fast we put them up because we can ruin them if they're not ready, if they're not prepared, properly prepared. Amen. I've, I've, I've been in many services where somebody was, 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 was called upon to, to stand and, and pray or stand and read a verse of scripture. And when they, when they got up, they had selected their own scripture. And the scripture had nothing to do with anything. You know, it was, it was way out of line with everything. Come on here. Well, what, is, well, what are you saying, Brother Paul? That be careful in how you pray and how how comfortable you are with praying because let me tell you something God is looking at our heart he's not so much listening to our words we're going to get into that next week but he's looking at our heart and and we have to learn to, to speak things out of our heart to God as opposed to out of our minds. Because when we speak out of our minds, all kind of things are going on in there. But we speak things up out of our heart or out of our spirit man. That's the real you. Speak out of your spirit man. Pray out of your spirit man. And you will learn that as you're doing that, you're going to learn the voice of the spirit. Especially if you know God's word. Amen. Because that's what we're preparing for. To know the voice of the Lord. Amen. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street. That they may be what? Seen. And that's what I was saying. You put, you put the wrong person up who's had no attention any time in their life, and then all of a sudden, they're up and they're standing before a congregation of people. The spotlight is on them. They have a microphone, and you wonder what happened to that person. I've seen it many times. Amen. Amen. That they may be what? 
seeing of men. Many preachers have fallen into this trap. Mm -hmm. But many people have been fall have fallen into trap that they like being seen. They like the limelight. They like attention. Mm -hmm. They like the camera. Hello. They like the videos. Mm -hmm. Take your selfies every time you see them. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Sixth verse. But thou, but you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. But you, when you pray, enter into the, thy closet, into a private room. Not your closet, because I know you got a whole lot of junk in your closet. Whole lot of clothes, whole lot of shoes. Ain't no room for you in your closet. Ain't no room for me in my closet. Hello? But what he's saying is, don't do things to be seen, but pray in secret. It's personal. You have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, so you have a personal relationship. You're not to be broadcasting it. Now, as, pre as preachers, we often have to pray publicly. We have to pray uh, 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 for members after a preaching. We have to pray for members uh, uh, on, on sometimes when we own videos and TVs and radios. We, we have to pray for people, and, and, and all of that's good, but I'm talking about your personal prayer life. Your personal prayer life. My person, I have personal prayer life. Now, I'm going to tell you something, and I've said it many times, but I'm going to bring it out here. When I pray for somebody, I always feel better. Hmm? It does me good to pray for you. It does me good to pray for you. What are you saying, Brother Paul? When I pray for you, the Holy Spirit that's in me activates. And when it activates, I feel His presence. Whether you feel it or not, I feel His presence. And any time I feel His presence, it does something to me. Hello? But when I'm alone, I pray. And I'm asking God for things. I'm talking to God about situations. I'm looking to God for direction. I'm asking God to lead me and to guide me. I'm going through many different types of prayer in my time. But I've learned that even though I finish praying, I don't get up. Hello? I don't just pray and say what I got to say and get up. And I say, I've say i said this many times. The most important part of prayer is what God has to say. God already knows what you want to say before you even say. He knows your heart. But the most important part is hearing what God has to say. So when you finish with your, your list, wait. Wait. But don't just wait. As you wait... Start praising Him. Start worshiping, singing songs to Him while you're still in the attitude of prayer. Start worshiping Him any way you can. Whatever way that's comfortable for you that brings forth the anointing on you, the presence of God on you. You may get your answer faster. Now that's key right there. The key, the key to answered prayer and hearing the voice of the Spirit is after you pray, wait. Spend more time in His presence after you prayed. Spend more time. You can be reading your Bible out loud. You, 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 you can be singing some worship songs, songs that praise the Lord. Hmm? Do, do the things that, that will, 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 will keep the flow of the Spirit going while you're in the attitude of prayer. Hmm? Be, do it by yourself. There's, it's good to be able to pray with your wife. It's good to be able to pray with your children. It's good to be able to pray as a family. But when you're alone, it's just you and God. That's a different story. It's just, and, and, I, and, and I'm going to tell you, I've been to many services. I, I, I go to services all the time. And, and, and I've experienced a lot of things at different churches, at the church we come out of, uh, 
Revival Temple, we, we, I've experienced some really great services. The power of God moving. And, and, and nobody even wants to move when, when the power of God moves. I, I've experienced that. But my, mo my, my best, my best experiences have been when I'm alone with God. What did you say, Brother Paul? My best services have been when I'm alone with God. When I can spend three and four hours in, in, in a session. What you say? I said in a session. I didn't say intercession. I said in a session, a prayer session, a, 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 a session that I've, de I've determined that I'm going to spend some quality time with God. And I look up and three, four hours is gone. Hmm? Time stood still. Hmm? Didn't even realize it. Why? Because I prayed and then I start worshiping. And as I'm worshiping, you know what? I, I forgot all about what I prayed about. I'm just thinking about what I'm just thinking about the Lord. I'm just thinking about how great heaven is. I'm going through the motions of here. I'm, I'm having a great time in the Lord. And guess what? I forgot what I prayed about. And sometimes the Spirit will speak to you in your worship. In your worship. In your worship. Sometimes after I pray, I just get into the Word. I don't do the same thing every time, but it's worship. I continue in the attitude of prayer and worship. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. But when you pray, enter into your closet and there shut the door. Be, 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 get a, spend some quality time. What Jesus is saying is, give me some quality time. If you want to pray, don't just say, give me, give me, give me and go. My four no more. Come on. God wants us to spend quality time. Hmm? And pray to the Father which is in secret. And thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee open. Hello. We're going to learn next week about who to pray to. And, but this, this, is, this says it. Pray to the Father. A lot of times people pray to Jesus, but the Bible says to pray to, to the Father, which seeth in secret, which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Mm -hmm. You pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. We'll get into that next week. Let's move on. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Hmm? Because you, in other words, I got to say a whole lot of stuff for God to hear me. Hmm? Even if I have to say it over and over again, I want to make sure he heard me. No, 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 no. A lot of times, a lot of times people are just praying long prayers. Now I admit, I'm, I was an intercessor and, and, and I didn't understand it. Intercession was a type of prayer, and you can't use intercession everywhere you go. Or you can't just throw yourself into prayer like that. Hmm? I remember I was at a, I was at a function, a, a social function with my uh, family, and, and, and they asked me to pray, for, pray over the food. And when I, when, when I got up, the power of God hit me, and I started praying. I'm praying, 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 praying. And then I finally brought it in and quit. Stop playing. And as I, as I sat down, one of, the, one, of the, one of the people in the family made a statement. I think you might have missed somebody over in Africa. <laughs> in other words, you pray for everybody. You, you took all that time in prayer, and we just asked you to bless the food. Amen. Amen. I, I, I had to learn. I, uh, I learned a lot of things by, by the humiliation I, I suffered. Yes, indeed. They think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Much speaking don't, don't, don't move God. Hmm? If you just say what you got to say and then worship, then you'll be fine. Hmm? But don't, don't, you don't have to make up nothing. You ain't got to come with no long list. But then again, the best, the, even when you are not in the formal closet and you're just going about your day, you can talk to the Lord out of your heart. 
He knows. He's listening. He's listening. Mm -hmm. Now, the fifth verse, oh, that's the eighth verse, I'm sorry. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask. And that goes right back to the, to the thing I just said. What did you just say, Brother Paul? I said the most important part of prayer is hearing what God has to say. Hmm? See, your father knows of what things you have need of before you ask. So, if he knows what I need before I ask, then the most important part of prayer is hearing what God has to say. So, that's what we're going to deal with today. How do I hear what God has to say? After you pray, worship. That, that's the answer. That's the answer right there. After you pray, worship. You can worship by, by reading your word. You can worship by singing songs. Singing songs that worship, that minister to God. Songs that, that, that talk to God about God. Hmm? Singing songs that, 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 that you know that, that help you to get in the spirit. That help you to move in, in that vein. Hmm? We're going we're gonna to get into some other things next week. But I want to get this done right now is that we know how to pray and who to pray to hmm? because you we want to prepare to hear the voice of, of the Holy Spirit now Jesus said after he said this for your father know of what things you have need of before you ask him then he says after this manner therefore pray hmm? this is how you pray now, traditionally, we've called this the Lord's Prayer. But this is not the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is John 17, where, God is, where, where, where Jesus is talking to the Father. The whole chapter, 17th chapter of John. If you haven't read it, read it. Read that, read that chapter, read that, 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 that chapter in John. And you'll see, he's, that's his prayer to God. This is, Jesus is giving us a model to pray for. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. He didn't say, say these words. That's what we do. We say the Lord's Prayer. Hmm? We, this is just a model for us to pray. And it says, our Father, which art in heaven. We're praying to the Father. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Our Father, which is in heaven, and heaven is not far off some far off planet, but heaven is a realm. Hello? It's a realm. And we're in a realm of our own. But the heaven is in a realm also. He's not a far off. The Holy Spirit is in you, but the realm is all around you. Hmm? Hallowed be thy name. Holy and lifted up. High and lifted up is your name. In other words, when you start, you're, you address the Father. Access to the Father is in the name of Jesus. We get into that next week. But then after you get gain access, you start praising Him. Hmm? Ascribing to Him His own attributes, His own character. Hmm? How, high and lifted up. Holy is your name. You're worshiping him. Hmm? Thy kingdom come. Hmm? This is what we should pray. Now listen to this. After this manner, therefore, oh, pray, pray you. Hmm? And then in the 10th verse it says, Thy kingdom come. Hmm? Thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Those three are right there, totally linked together. Hmm? Thy kingdom come. How is thy kingdom going to come? By your will being done in the earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom, the kingdom of heaven can be on earth if we would let God's will be done in us as well as this being done in heaven. Our will be done 
if we are all obedient, then we can get this thing done. We can do what God has accomplished for us to do in the earth realm. Thy, thy, people will be able to see God's kingdom if God, all of God's people that confess that they are Christians would be just be obedient to the things of the Spirit, hearing the voice of the Spirit and being obedient. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Ain't no problems in heaven. Ain't no disobedience in heaven. Huh? But it is in the earth realm, in, 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 in the kingdom of his people in the earth realm. Give us this day our what? Daily bread. Hmm? We, 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 there's, the, the, there is something in that that, that, that we, we, we don't always look at, but he said to deal with each day daily. <laughs> One day at a time. However you want to look at it. One day at a time. It's good that, 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 that we need to have substance. We, we, we need to have, we have food and nourishment for our bodies. And he provides that. But daily. Because we don't know what tomorrow holds. We may not be here. There's somebody can say that right now. They're in heaven saying, hmm, yesterday I was on the earth. Today I'm in heaven. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt to us. Now, look at this. If you're going to make debt and you can't pay it back, but then again, the, the, the scripture is clear in other places in the New Testament that, that, that we have to also be forgiving of those that owe us. Hmm? If you're going to make that and you, you, you do your best to pay it, you come up short, and, and you, you're looking for, for forgiveness for when you're a little late on payments, then be, 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 be more understanding when somebody owes you. Hmm? That's a that's a, that's a key thing there because a lot of a lot of God's people are, are caught in cycles of debt, in cycles of debt, and and they, they they don't realize that they have to stop spending in order to get out of debt. Stop spending. That's that's the key to getting out of debt. Hmm. Is stop spending. Hmm. Especially if it's credit card debt. Hmm. Stop stop using the credit cards. Pay them off. That'll that'll take care of it right there. Mm, but if you're living off your credit cards, then you'll be in debt till you die. Hello? And lead us not mm, into temptation. That's a good prayer always to pray. Remember, this is just a model. Lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Mm, for dying is the kingdom. And the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now that last verse is not in Mark, in Luke 11. In Luke 11 it stops a little bit short. But in Luke 11, in Luke 11, the disciples asked Jesus to teach us to pray. And here he's he didn't, nobody asked him anything. He's in a teaching session. Amen. Amen. So, the Lord, what we call the Lord's Prayer is really a model for prayer. And you can take that example and use that example in your prayer if you so choose. Sometimes I come before God and uh, it, it, it's an emergency. And the only thing I can get out is Jesus. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Jesus. Huh? I've been in some near a whole lot of near miss accidents on, 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 on the beltway. The only thing I could say was Jesus. Huh? I ain't got time to, for a formal prayer. I ain't got time for a format. Hmm? And I believe God looks at our heart. And I don't believe He wants us to 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 
always do the same thing. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven. You know, we that, that, that's okay. But sometimes the situation dictates something else. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's an emergency. Sometimes it's very critical. Mm -hmm. Next week we're going to get into uh, some things. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get in, I'm going to give you a setup right today. But let's read on. That's that's the Lord's prayer. But we're preparing to hear the voice of the Spirit. So let's let's read on and see what Jesus is teaching here. He says in the 14th chapter, but if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. Mm. 